We're going to build voltage across two capacitors here. The top one is a paper plate capacitor and the bottom one is just a d small disc capacitor. Now you see the uh, aluminum foil over the sides. It was because I wasn't getting the effect with just the capacitors alone. This video was actually requested by someone who watches my channel quite a bit and comments a lot. This is for you, Obi-Wan. You can see the voltage goes right across the two capacitors here. The outside is a little longer on the top plate, so that's where it's going to spark across. When you put them flat, you don't get much of anything, so you have to have some kind of a spiky edge on the side. And it just sounds terrifying. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and take a look at this at night because it's really so much more of an awesome effect. You kind of see it bouncing in here it's because every time that you see the purple in there that's the high voltage right there and it puts off an ion wind and it's actually blowing the top part up it's just on a flimsy stick so it's easy to maneuver with this So the question you must be asking by now is, are the capacitors doing much in this? We know that we get uh, high voltage sparks like this on regular foil, but what are the capacitors doing? The capacitors themselves are just amplifying the amount of sparking between the two. Normally this takes a little bit uh, shorter of a distance to get this kind of arcing, but the capacitors themselves make the arc a bit longer because it holds it and then drops the spark. Holds it and drops the spark every time. I wanted to show these photos again. I just want people to understand. People think the sparks only come from one side. They actually come from both. One comes from the top, as you normally see in this, and then some come from the bottom. So you can see that in these two pictures here. If you look close, there's two voltage spikes that come from the bottom. Our Earth works the same way. We see the voltage coming from the sky, but rarely people know that voltage actually comes up to meet it. So it just started to break daylight in my garage just a little bit and I want you to see this because the plasma that it comes out you can see the glow of it and then it starts sparking off and then you see the glow again. I think in the future what I need to do is just stabilize the top plate and the bottom one and I bet you I can get a nice plasma glow at night. 
Or maybe it's just better this way. Spark it, get the plasma. Spark it, get the plasma. I don't know. Looks cool either way to me. So there was one more cool effect that happened during this build, and I just wanted you to see it. What you're going to see is the plasma break out on the side here on the foil, and it's going to start to make that alien sound again. just want to thank Obi-Wan Kenobi here for requesting this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like always, if you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.